Hey everyone, welcome back to Love and Junk. We are going to do a little garden backyard tour and show you what we have going on in container gardens. So I'm standing in the green space. If you've seen like a home tour video or anything, I'm standing in the green space now across from our backyard. We've got a little shed there. We'll show you that section. And let's get to it. All right, so. If you walk into our backyard, there's a little gate. See, there's a little walking path. There's the school. There's John. <laughs> Over here, we did this. Now, this is new for us. Last year, we were moving, so we did a little bit of container gardening, but not too much because it was we were just still moving and everything. So this is a new area that we made for this year. And we just put it on pallets. This is kind of a dead area down behind the shed. Mr. Owl, you'll see, is not doing the best job. But anyways, this was just kind of a dead area. So we put some pallets here. We plan to make it a little, I don't know, I guess we'll pretty it up a little bit more as we go. But as time moves on. But for now, this is what we've got. And we're going to take you in closer. All right. So here we are from a distance. And then up close, you can see, you wanna, John's gonna show us maybe what we have going on. Yeah, we got uh, two habanero peppers here. I uh, got some beans, beans down here. Brussels sprouts, more beans in the back. Uh, jalapeno. And then this little pot down here just has some wildflowers that we threw in there. We, yeah, we had some wildflower seeds, so we thought, hmm, let's throw them in and see what happens. Flowers are always good to mix in for pollination, right? Yeah, and we never did radishes before, so in the back we've got some radishes. And then we had some um, uh, carrot seeds, so we just threw them in there. So I, it's not going to generate very much, but we're still going to love it. Uh, we got some spring onions there. Um, these are bell peppers, I believe, down here. And these we started from seed, too. They're really small. Some things, yeah. like most of these things, we started about the same time. Uh, the seedlings that we use. Some we bought from plants. But isn't it funny how some seedlings just take off and move right. quicker? Yeah. And oh, yeah. some just are pretty small still. This guy... A rabbit thought that was delicious. It used to be a Brussels sprout. Yep. Yeah, we've got more Brussels sprouts. Um, There's peas, peas that we're hoping are going to grow big and strong. Yep. Those are sunflowers. Yep, and more bell peppers down there. Those are still kind of little. And then more Brussels. And then some eggplant down below there. Yeah. So... Now we're going to show you another section of the yard, but we'll show you. So this is just kind of tucked back, like I said. There's the green space, which is nice. And this is just tucked around the corner. And here's our patio. We're not going to show that too closely. All right now, there's not a whole lot going on, a whole lot to see. Nope. More bell peppers. Um, we've got some cherry tomatoes back there that we started from seed. And all these we started from seed as well. More bell peppers. All right, so there's just some flowers. This is a little rose bush that we have sitting here. And then over here, this is all we did for herbs this year. And we might mix in some more into that back area that we just showed you, but rosemary, basil, chives. Oh, wait. We also have more. We have this other little basil plant here. We don't know where its home is gonna be. We need to figure that out. All right, so over in this area, most importantly, I don't know if you can see the little kitty sitting on the chair. I don't know if you can even see him in there. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so we've got our zucchini here. This one's doing all right, but there's a better one over there. Um, some beans over there I want to stake up a little bit. Um, we've got some cucumbers growing in the back. Flowers again for pollination. Uh, more beans. Those are doing pretty good. And Look at this big this. boy. Look at all the flowers and stuff. This one's doing really well. Yep. And uh, we've had good and bad luck with zucchini, mostly bad. And more cucumber there. And we've got this nice old big heavy trellis. Yeah. 
All right, so along the back of the house, we have what was my dad's raised um, beds. And we have decked them out with tomatoes. And so I'll kind of show you. Yeah, so again, the, some are doing better than others. Yeah, these first four are all uh, early girl tomatoes. And then we get into these. And the ones on the end, the smaller ones, we started from seed. Yeah, so we'll see. But we always like a variety in our garden of things that produce early, things that produce later. Once things start to die off and be done, we'll plant other things. But anyway, let us know if you do container gardening. We've only been doing it for, I don't know, three years, four years, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And we really enjoy it. So let us know your tips and tricks in the comments below and like I said definitely if you're a container gardener what you are growing this year.